Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about multi -tetcher. This is one of the must-have plugins that you need to have, especially when you're working with Floor Generator. To set it up, the first thing that we need to do is go to our maps. We're going to be looking into maps, general, multi -tetcher. The first thing that we need to do is go to the manage texture and we're going to be looking for the textures that we need. So we're going to click on add and we're going to be looking for some textures. In this case, I'm going to be selecting these ones. So I'm going to be connecting this to my diffuse channel and also to a color correction that I have here. And I'm going to be applying this shader to my wood that changes to the Corona Interactive. And let's see how it looks. The nice thing about multi texture is that it has only a few parameters. So we're going to be using the manage texture to manage all the textures that we have. Use textures to show texture here or use color to show the actual color of the of the board. We can also change the filtering of the texture. In this case, I really like to keep it as default with pyramidal blurring is just going to be blurring the actual texture that we have. So we can keep this at one not really need to to blur it that much and rotate is going to be rotating that so we we can keep it also as default we can also have like a different randomized option so material id is the default one and is the one that you need to use if you're using floor generator if you're using any other type of objects and you want to use multi texture use the object section you can also use the Bercon tile if you're using Bercon tiles. Seed is just going to change the seeding of the texture and it's going to create more variation in case that you are reusing this particular board that you already created. We also have a few advanced options, which is the color adjustment. The one that I use most of the time is Gamma. I usually don't use hue or saturation that much, but I'm going to show this also to you. So for Gamma, we're going to be creating a few variations on the board. So I'm going to be changing this to 1.1, random to 0.25, and distribution to 15. What I'm doing here is adding a few extra darker boards on my on my scene. 1.1, what it's doing is adding darker boards. So if I change to two, it will be easier to look at this. Random is the randomness of these boards that I'm creating and the distribution is the actual percentage of boards that I will have on my scene that are a little bit darker than the other ones. Hue works in the same way. So if I go higher, so it's going to create or it's going to be adding a color to, to my board. Same if I go negative. As I say, I, I don't like to use hue that much, but if you want, you can use that like maybe a little bit of variation on uh, on the color of your boards. Same, you can use the randomness and the percentage of distribution that you want these boards. The next option is the saturation. So we can desaturate the boards. We can also add a little bit of randomness. So in this case, I'm just going to add 50% random. And I'm just going to add a distribution of 16. Now in this case, random, if I go really low, what it's going to do is add a uh, desaturation to almost all the boards. If I go really high, what it's going to do is be a little bit more selective and add this desaturation to only a few boards. Again, I usually don't use this that much, so I'm just going to keep it at 10 and probably 99 with a 10 distribution. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching.